Hey everybody, welcome to Dan Bowman Photography. Today we're going to be talking about the Canon FTB 35mm film camera. Now if you're looking to start shooting film, the Canon FTB is a great option. It's a fully manual camera, so there's manual focus, manual exposure, pretty much manual everything. And I think that's really great for learning the basics of photography, particularly film photography, in that you get to set the aperture and the shutter speed and the ISO of your film, and you really get to get a sense of how the exposure triangle works, and you really learn a lot about photography. So I think it's a great camera in that sense. Now a little background about the camera. It was released in 1971 along with their contemporary flagship pro camera, the F1. Now it has a lot of the same basic features of the F1, but it was marketed towards a sort of mass market, advanced amateur audience. So it came out, it was a lot cheaper. It was about 99 US dollars for the camera body. And it came with a standard 50 millimeter F1.8 lens. Now this camera uses Canon's FD lens mount and it's an interchangeable lens camera so it's compatible with all Canon FD mount lenses. Now the FD mount was in use from the early 70s when Canon introduced it to about the late 80s and early 90s when it was replaced by the Canon EF lens mount. But fear not because there are tons of Canon FD lenses out there and they made a ton of different uh, types of lenses, so you can pretty much cover all your bases. There's anything from super wide angle 17 millimeter lenses or even 7.5 millimeter fisheye lenses all the way up through super telephoto 800 millimeter lenses. Even though Canon is not making these lenses anymore and there's they're not compatible with modern Canon cameras, you can find adapters for mirrorless digital cameras. So for instance, I have a Sony A6000 camera and I recently found, I didn't purchase, but I found an adapter for the FD mount to Sony's E mount. So I could use the Canon FTB, the lens that I have on my Canon FTB camera with my Sony digital camera, which I think is pretty cool. Now, if you're looking to buy this camera today, you can find it used on eBay for around 40 to 60 US dollars. And that's with a 50 millimeter F1.8 lens. Now, it's pretty easy to find and pretty cheap, so you know if you can find it, go out there and grab one. Now, without further ado, I'm gonna give you a tour of the camera and show you some of the basic buttons and features of the camera. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a brief tour of the Canon FTB camera and show you some of the functions and buttons that are on it so you get a sense of how to use it. So firstly, the viewfinder is right in the center on the back and you look through that to look through the lens and take your picture. Now this dial right here has your shutter speed which is goes from one second up to a thousandth of a second and it also has a bulb mode so you can do long exposures which is pretty cool. Uh, right next to the bulb setting is your ISO and you pull this ring up to adjust ISO and it goes from 100 up to, or it goes, I think from 25 up to 1600, and you set that to whatever your film speed is. This button right here is the shutter release, so you press this to take your photo, and you can also lock it and unlock it, uh, so which is good if, you, if the shutter's cocked and you put it in your bag, you can lock the shutter so that it doesn't take a picture if you bump up against it. On the top of the camera, we have a shoe to put a flash in. And so if you want to use a flash, you can put it right on top of the camera or you can connect, um, I would assume, with a radio adapter. I've never tried to use flash with this, so um, I'm, not, I'm unsure about that. On the side here, you have a light meter, which you can turn on or off. And it meters through the lens of the camera. And also, on the front of the camera, there is a stop-down meter setting so that if you have 
an older Canon lens that doesn't have uh, metering capabilities, you can still sort of get a meter reading with this camera if you're using the stop down. This is what you use when you're, this is the film rewind crank, so when you're done, you can rewind your film like so. And on the lens, you can sort of see, this is your focusing ring. So I have right now, what I believe is the kit lens, a 50 millimeter 1.8 FD mount lens. And it goes all the way down to two, it focuses as close as two feet or 0.6 meters. And then obviously all the way out to infinity. And right behind and closer to the camera is the aperture ring. So this goes down to 1.8 and all the way up to f16. So that's pretty much all there is that's sort of the basic functioning of the camera. So I can show you now how to load and unload film so you can use the Canon FTB. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to load film into the Canon FTB camera. So first you wanna take the film out of your canister there. And on the top of the camera, there's a button right here that basically pulls open and releases the camera back so that you can open it up. Now you're gonna take your film and you're gonna put it in basically canister sort of upside down like that. And then you push this down. Now if it doesn't go down all the way, you turn it a little bit until it goes all the way down. And basically you're gonna hold that, hold your canister, and you're gonna pull this along until it's the leader tip is right at this red marker. And then you just want to sort of hold this steady and you can snapshot the back of the camera. Now you have a little counter here on the top, which is kind of hard to get in focus. There it is. And it's at, I think that is an S logo. Now basically you want to have your lens cap on and you're going to take, well, one, two, three blank shots and advance the film every time. So now your frame counter should be on zero and you're ready to take the first shot. Okay, so now we've finished shooting our roll and we're ready to take it out of the camera and send it off to the developer or develop it at home. Uh, so the first thing to know is this camera doesn't have an automatic re film rewind, so you have to manually rewind the film into the canister. So the first thing to know about how to do this is there's a button on the bottom of the camera and you press and hold this to release the film from the sprocket so that you can rewind it. Now on the top of the camera, the film rewind crank is right here. And there's a little arrow pointing to which way you need to uh, turn the crank. So we're gonna press and hold this throughout the whole process. You can do that with your thumb and we'll just slowly crank the film back into the canister. So now it's very light rewinding. So what you want to do at this point Open up the back cover. And there's your film. And it's important to stop rewinding the film once you've gotten to the point where resistance is light or you risk um, sending the leader part of the film back into the film canister, which is not something that you want to do. So anyhow, that's pretty much how you rewind and unload your film and you'll be ready to 
put another roll in. And once you put the roll in, it'll reset your counter and you're ready to go. So what's the final verdict? Should you buy the Canon FTB 35mm camera? I say yeah, go for it. If you really want to shoot Canon cameras or you're interested in getting into film photography and want something that's fully manual, this is a great option. It's really inexpensive and the build quality of these cameras is fantastic. Uh, the camera body is pretty much entirely metal and the parts hold up really well over time. Uh, the camera I have has actually gone through a house fire and granted it was in a drawer and kind of away from the smoke and fire damage uh, but it, you know, it held up and it, all the parts still work. The light meter still works and it's a great camera. So I think if you're looking to get into 35mm film photography and you're interested in Canon cameras, that the Canon FTB is a fantastic option for you. So leave a, leave a comment, let me know what you think. If you're interested in shooting this camera, if you have one and sh have shot it before, leave something down in the comments. And as always, like and subscribe, and you can check me out on my website at danbullman.com. Until next time, we'll see you later.